Welcome to How To Metrology. My name is Michael, and in this episode, we're going to talk about how to add and remove users in the Zeiss Calypso software. Adding a new user is a five step process. The only login that can change or create new users is the master. So, first, log in as the master. Once you've logged in the master, we'll begin with the first step. Step one, you'll go to the drop down called Extras, choose Extras, go to Settings then choose the user. Next, you're going to click on the administration tab located in the upper right corner of the screen. Step three, highlight the name master and overwrite it with the new name for the user or the login that you're looking for. In this example, we're using the name operator. Step four, Click on the plus sign to add the new user. That new user will appear on the tabs at the bottom. Notice there's three additional icons that appear at this screen. The trash can, that will allow you to delete a user. You cannot delete the master. The icon with the rectangular letter I allows you to rename the selected user login. Note you cannot rename the master. The left and right arrow icon allows you to change to a different user. Click apply. Step five, click on the privileges tab. That's located in the upper right corner of the screen. From here you can assign the appropriate privileges for the new user. A few things to consider here. There are asterisks next to each of the user rights. These are proposals for granting access to specific functions for the appropriate user. At the bottom of the screen, you will see recommendations. The checkbox, quote, Calypso Express, is a simpler program interface if you would like a user to complete only a few simple tasks. You may click Apply. When you're finished choosing the user rights. So to see another example of this, we'll launch Calypso Express. Once you've launched your Calypso Express, here's a few more steps that you can use to change a privileges tab for users that you want to have limited access or limited privileges. Examples of these users might be simply operators without programming or editing capabilities. So at the Privileges tab, we're going to click on the Auto Run Rights. Say that really fast. That's located in the upper right corner of the screen. Assign appropriate Auto Run Privileges for the user by placing checks in the appropriate check boxes. Remember, privileges assigned here are for the Auto Run screen only. Click Apply once you've chosen the privileges you want to apply to this user. The next step, you would click on the Profile tab. The Profile tab is located in the upper right corner of the screen. Fill in information about the user that you're creating. If you click on Change Password, you can assign this person a password. When you first sign the password, you will be prompted to re-enter the password. Click Apply, followed by OK. You may exit Calypso at this point. Click on the drop-down arrow and you'll see now the new created user, in this example, operator, is available. Enter the password that you created, and you can now launch is this new user with the privileges that you assigned in the earlier steps.
Thanks for watching this episode of How To Metrology. Hopefully it was uh, insightful and you've learned how to add and remove and manage users with your Zeiss Calypso. Uh, in the meantime, if you've got any questions or have needs for training, please reach out to us. Check out our website, inspectionengineering.com. And if you're looking for any kind of probe tooling or accessories for your CMM, we can also help you there. Mm -hmm.